Alright, so the artificial lungs, I decided I will be going with two. I'm not, well, I might be getting sick, but I'm just having problems with losing my voice. My throat hurts when I talk too much. I think I'm losing my voice. I'm going to go with two lungs. And we're going to have two air intake tubes. And then this is going to go to the nose of the robot. Okay. Um, then we're going to have one line going to the arms and one to the legs and probably just one to the torso. Kind of big lines. And same, another one for the torso, because the combustion actuators are going to be in the torso that generate a ton of heat, so the more air the better for the torso. Plus the, com the main computer is going to be in the torso, and the batteries, so we're going to need a lot of air for the torso, maybe two for the torso from each lung, and then one for each arm, and then another one for the leg. So a total of four outputs um, for each lung. And I wanted to put a tube from the mouth to the lung that drops ice. And then the ice will come into netting. Okay, netting, now, this net holding the ice cubes, as the air comes down in here, it's going to need to make its way past that to get to these exit ports, and so it's going to have to pass through the ice. And so as the air passes through the ice, it cools it. So the air conditioning system for the robot will be ice cubes forming a, a ice filter between the air intake and the vent lines of the lungs. Now this ice will slowly drip and melt and it will fall to the bottom of the lungs. And then I'm going to have a drainage port where the water can gather here at the bottom and the it's going to drain into a bladder and then that bladder is going to come out through the Kendall lump so it's going to be like like this like the hips and it's just going to come and be able to pee but it's just going to be a lump. There's going to be no um, genitalia, just a lump. So it's going to be fully rated G, so kids can see it peeing or whatever. So a bladder will get the drain off of this ice. So the ice, I was originally going to put the ice in like a separate chamber, but I realized, hey, why not just put the ice inside the lungs? Hey, what's up, Chosen? So. Yeah, the light, the ice is going to be in the lungs, and the air will have to pass through it to get to the exits. That's why I have it suspended, kind of dividing the lungs in half. So the robot will just swallow the ice, it will go into there. Now, the melted ice, as well as water he could swallow, that can just go down. 
Oh, you also notice that these four tubes that provide the airflow to the body are not near the bottom of the lungs because we don't want the dripping ice to get into these tubes because then it's going to blow um, into the rest of the body and we want the water to drip to the bottom of the lungs and drain out into the bladder so it can be peed out but this bladder will also serve as a source of water for our sprinkler system which is just going to be water coming out through various hoses of the bladder leading to various parts of the body distributing water through little holes in the hosing the water can just come out through the little holes and spray in strategic spots throughout the robot's body so this bladder can contract to spray water everywhere in, in the robot we need it and little valves can cramp can clamp shut these lines if we're only trying to send water in one area but not another so these hey thank you have good appreciate that man alright so we can control um, cutting off these lines anytime we want um, so we can redirect it so there, there will be a series of like sphincter muscles that prevent um, water from going to places we don't want so it doesn't over flood certain areas that don't need any more water yet and these little water sprinkler systems will end up going to coat all electronics so every electronic will be first coated in a waterproof membrane of double stick tape and then wrapped in cotton cloth and the cotton cloth will be soaked with water and it will draw away heat from the electronic through evaporation um... so yeah that's my improved design for basically merging the air conditioning system that's ice cube based with the artificial lungs by implementing the air conditioning directly into the lungs instead of as a separate compartment that cools the air exiting the lungs so the air cooling will happen right inside the lungs um, we'll just have to make sure that the air intake tubes really force the air directly through this netted ice cube chamber so that might mean that we have the tubing just kind of like go like that pressing right up against this net really forcing the air intake to pass through there before it can go anywhere otherwise because we don't want the air just to go around the ice without really getting up in there and really interacting with the ice I feel like when the intake air interacts with and passes along the ice that maximizes the cooling effect the more surface area of ice that contacts the more surface area of air probably cools more air more efficiently and then by utilizing the same tube this, that swallows down the mouth to serve the ice and the water needs of the sprinkler system by interconnecting that all I don't have to have a separate tubing for swallowing ice and a separate tubing for swallowing water it can all be one and the same so the ice melt off can double as the water so he can like drink ice water and the ice will get trapped in the bag the water will make its way into the bladder the bladder will almost be like a heart it will pump water throughout the robot's entire body
now that I'm thinking of the heart as a pump, I almost feel like it'd be cool if there was a return line as well. Just like arteries and um, veins. If the heart were able to pump through and then back into the heart in a cycle, that could form a water cooling system. And the water cooling system would optionally be able to sprinkle water throughout the body as well. So maybe these little holes would just be tiny, tiny drips of water. And it'd just keep flowing, but then it'd leave little drips behind, kind of just keeping everything moist. The idea is to have all the electronics that would otherwise overheat be kept moist at all times. But having the water still be passing through everything could be a way to cool it. Although you'd need to have this. W oh, wha what the frick? Oh my goodness. Oh, <laughs> guys, holy crap. <laughs> this is sick. Check it out, guys. Alright, so you saw I just drew the loop of the pumping bladder, which is our heart in this case, coming just, you know, to some part of the body. We don't really show it here, but this could be the arm. It's just passing through the arm and then back. Okay, instead of having it just go to a limb and then back to the heart or the bladder, the heart bladder, check this out. We have it pass back through the ice back through the ice to cool it so that the ice is not only cooling the air conditioning system um, the air circulation it's also cooling the water cooling system so look at this the water cooling system which serves as a sprinkler to keep all the electronics moist will also send the tubing back up over and back down making it pass through all the ice cubes right cooling it down after it's it's come into contact with all the hot electronics so it's hot water now it sprinkles down through the ice collects back at the bottom of the lungs and then drips back down into the bladder again to do it all over again so these ice cubes serve multiple functions. Not only do they cool the air that comes in through the nose and distributes through the whole body and then comes out through the vent lines, it's also now cooling a water cooling system. So we're going to have an air and water con air conditioning and water conditioning system. So all the air and all the water gets icy cold constantly. That is incredible. Plus, let's say the ice was all melted. You know, he hasn't had ice in a while. The water coming through the lungs is going to be dripping down this netting and getting cooled by just the air passing through it through evaporation. And the air itself, by evaporating that water, is getting cooled down. So even if there was no ice in this system, it would still... This is giving me the chills. This is so amazing. <laughs> It would still cool the air, um, just like a swamp cooler does. A swamp cooler is a cooler that basically cools the air of a room just through evaporation. Um, it just has it pass through a wetted down filter. And as the water passes down that filter, fan force air crosses over it, um, turning the air into a gas, evaporating it. And when liquids turn into gases, they draw away heat from the liquid, whatever the liquid's touching. So, I don't believe that I just figured out a way for this ice system, which I only intended to cool the air being circulated through the robot. Now, it's also cooling the liquid that circulates through the robot. That is crazy. That is awesome.
So the only time he'll need to actually pee is when so much ice has melted out of here that the bladder is overfilled. So the bladder perhaps can just weigh itself, see how much water is in it. Or the robot could just weigh his entire weight to calculate how much water is in him at that time. So he could weigh himself using the pressure sensors in his feet and he can tell how much more weight he gained by the amount of ice and water he has in his body. And when um, the ice is all melted, which could be timer based, he'll just know when it's melted based on timing, then that is crazy, that is awesome. So based on timing, he'll, he'll be able to estimate um, through the code, based on his temperature and various factors, the code can estimate when the ice has melted. So it doesn't have to have a, a ice melting sensor or anything like that. It could just be an estimation. And then he'll just kind of have an idea of when to pee, I guess. That should be fine. Um, like, he'll pee to clear water out of the system so that he can swallow more ice. Like, on a hot day, he'll just want to keep drinking more and more ice, or if he's working out, you know, doing something strenuous. So I'll just get him like a a big, um, a big gulpy or something, like a big cup of ice water, and he can just keep cooling himself down with that. 